Bitcoin has slid into the $68,000 range, but this has created some amazing entry points for our favorite altcoins. But there is a sickness building within crypto, the contagion that will not be seen in this bull market, hopefully, but I'm here to warn you and be prepared about what is the potential future for cryptocurrencies. All this and more on today's Blockchain Basement. We are the bread and butter of all the information that's been swimming across the internet for crypto news. If you're gonna um, screw me, at least pull my hair. Yeah. Hell yeah. What do you got? Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They could start chopping off fingers. They're yeah. like, give me your seed phrase, but that's, yeah. I don't know it. Over two years, he's made like 17K on I'm Roblox. What? Like 12. You yeah. never listen to me, and we must be married. Yeah, well, how much are you investing? $100. Four to 600000 The generational so signals are now. Do you now. You're spread so thin, that's how you get in on Snake. Snake's been okay. my biggest winner. Oh, yes. Yes, right. yes, 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 indeed. We, we had some upgrades to the studio this morning. That's right, baby. A couple upgrades going on here. Uh, we got Hannah joining us. Shirt nearly matches the microphone once again. Yep. I don't know if you do this on purpose no. or not. How are you doing, Hannah? I'm good. How are you? I'm Happy chilling. to be here. Thank you for having me. I mean, me. I'm I'm chilling in a relative stance. I did have to uh, escalate with uh, my property lines this morning. Oh so that yeah, was a I thing. heard there was a uh, domestic disturbance. There, there was no domestic disturbance. I just basically had to put in a police report. The guy ran over my temporary fence. He's uh, <laughs> on hurt. purpose. On purpose. So. Wait, is this the guy that put it up? Uh, yeah, but then he took that one down. I put up my own, and he ran that one over. With <laughs> <the truck. laughs> what? Yeah. It's the life of Northwestern Georgia. This is all out war. It's, you know, I mean, I'm trying not to. Uh, Nick, what a day. You know, you got our goat going early this morning. I know. You want to take a look? Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't think we can, uh, we can't take the, take anything out, but. um, Take anything out? No, don't, don't Don't change any of the. This is a real, this is real. This is not a knockoff. This is. SP5. This is an SP5. It is made in Stuttgart. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I picked it up last night. I was going to go on Friday, but I wasn't sure if I had, if I needed a special permit or something, or or even if they had one in stock, because these are very hard to come by. They're tough. Yeah. But the guy at the counter said, we literally just got this one in today. It's used. Do you want it? I said, do you think it'll be here Friday? He said, no, Mm. this will probably be gone in the morning. Mm. And it's $1,000 off. Yeah. So I said... Here's my credit card. Uh, uh, yeah. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. But Friday, again, we are going to go. Yeah. have an abbreviated show. Yes. Or at least a, sh- a late night show. I was thinking about maybe getting a uh, silencer when we go. Would well, you have a stamp? I mean, I can get one. You, you can just do the kiosk one. It doesn't take too long. Okay. I can do the paperwork. Like a, I got to check in on the paperwork. But I'm going to be buying um, folding stock and some other cool stuff for this. Hannah's going to get her pew pew. Owen's going to. Are you, Owen, are you going to get one? He's getting a red dot. A red yeah, dot. I'll probably a get a red dot, dot for this. And Can then... I get a red dot for mine? God, just you... crawl before okay, you walk. $600. Okay. No, there's six hundred dollars. Wait, well, Hannah, what's your budget? <laughs> I don't know. It's like <laughs> two two hundo. No, oh, more than that. God. Oh, I mean, you can get a pretty decent gun for two hundred bucks. Yeah. Uh, two hundred dollars. The, the used, yeah. The pink used Glocks. They they have a gazillion of them for two hundred. I'll make my decision dollars. while I'm there. We'll what? <laughs> yeah. This is an un. Touch think, gem. Yeah, they're what? pretty good. Uh, no Earth. one wants a pink lock. <laughs> Earth scum. I do. She, she wants one. She's going to get one. Earth Scum, Dirty Dan, Bullish on Parade, Nicole Minis Tater, Boosted It to Jay Z. Killed E-D-Viz. by Death says, Where are you guys based? Bro, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, we are based. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're in the basement. Everything's above our heads, and nothing is beneath us no. down here. Uh, I saw a fella from the Netherlands up in the chat. Very cool. Wow. Uh, worldwide. You know what I mean? Worldwide. 1776 Worldwide. Are you um, worldwide? Are you Mr. Worldwide? Mr. Worldwide. Oh. I've been recognized yeah. once. He's Pitbull. Yeah, so it's pretty huge. <laughs> um, yes, well, let's get into the Bitcoin price action, though, you guys. We have a little bit of a haircut going on. Not as nice of a haircut as mine, but uh, we yeah. have taken a little bit of a nosedive. We uh, you know, fine. came into the day 71.5, and we have dropped down as low as $68,150. Still, generally, yes, I'd agree with you, Nick. In the you know, in our time frame within this bull market, we're still looking just fine. Um, but it is, it, it, and honestly, it's probably uh, you know just really exciting me more so than anything to have entry points on some of the pieces on my watch list. Um, see that chain swaps down to fourteen cents. Stacks nice. 
near getting in that 299 range i really want to try to snag ah, my sub three dollar stacks is great yeah that's great. what i'm trying to get um ondo hasn't really given up too much 76 cents right now solidus ai tech you know i'm kind of feeling this one out i don't know i mean this is just like my general watch list this mm -hmm. one took a nosedive so i'm careful about mosaic meta still bullish on but uh the biggest losers on my watch list codex chain and opsec and chain swap so this is your see. watch list um, yeah yeah, five or two dollars super chat from Bodhisattva. That SP five made me moist, and I'm a straight guy. Hell yeah! I, it, it seems to be the panty soaker for all the men in the it's office. True. It, it, when <laughs> I slapped that thing this morning, I mean yeah. that's the first thing. Can I, I do did. a slap live on stream? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I think really, we're, I literally think we're. If gonna I pull get... this handle, yes. Oh, okay. I, I, won't, I won't do anything. I know he's got um, PTSD from back in the day. Well, let's... I want to do it. Yeah, I know <laughs> you want to do it. <laughs> Hannah's okay, like, I want to do it. You just do you want to you... hold it, Hannah? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Um, <laughs> this is a. Yeah. And uh, don't. Flag the safety's anyone. on. The safety's on. It's completely unloaded. Just so everyone knows. It's, yeah. It, yeah. So don't worry um, about Just the girls. You know, the just pain the in the markets, though, man. I, I feel like uh, this is a pretty good opportunity. I'll just look at the, the losers on my portfolio for the day. Florence Finance Medici. I got in this thing at seven cents flat. Still pretty good and up on the original entry point, but that. 13% haircut. Mm. Looking good to add. I actually like FFM a lot. Internet computer. I'm always stacking internet computer token down to $16. I, I still don't have any exposure. You don't have there. any exposure. So here's my, pl here's my plan with that. Okay. I've still got a massive bag of render that yeah. I've been able to increase just trading on some chop. $9.30 right now. I, yeah, I told a bunch of my friends and family to go buy render when it's sub $10. Mm -hmm. Um once I take another round of profits on render, then I'll get into ICP. I'll probably okay. I'll probably break off a third of my render and put in ICP. Fair, fair, very, fair. Yep. Uh, Celestia in the eleven dollar fifty five cent range, yeah, that's good. Uh, criminally oversold in my opinion. Yeah, we're gonna look at the charts on that. I'll probably be pulling them up live time. Yeah, Arrow, flat. look at Arrow's down by five percent, still a ten x from my wow. entry point. Wow. Congratulations, um, that's disgusting. I should probably buy weapons with the profits on Aerodrome. That uh, SP5 brought to you by LFG. Hey, look at <laughs> Let's you. Let's go. There it go. is. Um, but yeah, the liquidation chart on Bitcoin, you can see here, you know, there's a lot of people calling for the CME gap filled. Yes, there is a little bit of liquidity to grab on the short side, but... At large, uh, we saw quite a bit of shorts open up. We had 700, tr uh, not trillion, Jesus, 700 trillion, but just a large amount of uh, Bitcoin shorts opened up on the ride downwards. That's billion, right? That yeah. Guy, that's just, I mean, that, this, this guy's smoking crack. So, you know, 700 trillion. I don't know what the hell he's thinking there. Uh -huh. uh, BTC, saw, Charlie. Okay. Yeah, we got the GBTC outflows overpowering spot Bitcoin ETF inflows. This is interesting to see. We saw the spot coin exchange traded funds. Uh, basically, the outflows outpaced the inflows after four straight days of inflows. Uh, we're looking at the past week. Nearly $1 billion in Bitcoin flowed into the U.S. Bitcoin ETFs with BlackRock's product devouring the lion's share. As normal here, we got just the spot Bitcoin ETF volumes shown here. I bet in the darker, I think that's just the black isolated there. And GBTC right there. That's where you see the outflows happening out. It's kind of a changing of the guard from GBTC into iBit at large is what I'm seeing. Just shout out to zero dollar Giro again. Um, <laughs> who is that? TJ? Like, no, who it's is not this TJ. Guy? It's not TJ. I need to know your shirt size though. I yeah. definitely need to know your shirt. Zero dollar Giro. So. Put it in chat so yeah. we can send you a shirt. Yeah. Um, among other things. I'm putting together a, a care, care package. package. Is gonna, there will not be an MP5 in your care package. Yeah, I mean, that's... You know, we need to get this channel to the point where, like, look under your chair, there's an MP5. Oh, you know what I mean? dude! That would be, uh, you know, or, like, imagine a, a token that has a liquidity pool of, like, tanks and weapons. Yeah, I love you know? that. I, I mean, they hold that. their value. They hold their value. Dude. Yeah, that MP5 is not going to go down in value. You know, there's it's some great. there's some crypto YouTubers... That will literally take profits before the bull run and buy a car, a brand new car. A brand new car. Yeah, you saw who did that. Well, I bought an MP5 <sighs> that will only go up in value. That's true. <laughs> I, like, uh, no. drop. Oh, like drop. What? Wait, hold on. You know who surpassed Cardano? Uh, Tuncoin. Stop. Coin. We can't talk about that. Tuncoin. We can't. Yeah, I mean, I you can up. talk about it. Of no. It's, I mean, it's a painful thing to talk about. It's, it's happening, painful. though. It's painful. It's happening. Um, you know, this is more the conversation of the new guard in crypto. I do have a little bit, an inch 
of hopium for XRP holders nice. today. But Wait, uh, really, I do. Ew. Okay. Gross. Just hey guys, down. hit the likes button. That's what's not happening right now. Yeah. We need more likes. Get people in here. Yeah, and share the stream out. Damn it. Yeah. We're not having another concert until. I get a million views. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna. I got something uh, brewing in the background. I am super excited. It's good to uh, to release onto yeah. the world at large. We're still experiencing the outflows from exchanges amidst all of these uh, ETF, you know, buy ups. GBTC. I love this chart. 1.7 million Bitcoin left on exchanges. Look at that. That's just, not a lot. Uh, not a lot, and very uh, violent move to the downside. Yeah. Right. Uh, just a beautiful thing to see, setting us up for a nice juicy bull market that we're in essence at the beginning stages of, in my opinion, or at least a uh, at most, I'm saying about a third of the way through. So that's what I'm feeling like at large. Like in this point in the market, uh, last bull cycle, I had about 10K. I put about 3K in, turned it to 10K at this point relatively. And it cooked all the way up to $100,000. And I was uh, involved with more... Uh, risk off plays just bitcoin yep. ethereum um i am more exposed to like icp chain link now in this next bull market cycle i do very strongly feel like we're going to be experiencing 10x's for myself yeah with the positions um so you know just to give some good context for everyone like no the bull market's not already done no if way you know no like, way that's and that's where a little bit of the hopium can come for xrp yeah. holders and ADA holders you yeah. know what i mean like I, I mean i think xrp will reach its previous all-time high don't don't get me wrong and that's a big move market cap that's wise. a big move market cap wise yeah. and that's all it's going to be able to muster yeah. I, I really don't think it's going to be able to do much because xrp DeFi is not exploding there mm. are no meme coins on xrp that anyone's talking about no. there is cardano's the slow play it's always been the slow play so if you want explosive moves you get on solana you get on avax you get yeah. on ondo mm -hmm. Right, not Cardano. Cardano is the one where it's going to peak in a weird time, just like it did in the last bull yeah, run. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So I still think Cardano, from where it is, it's a 10x. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's that's where we're at. Where are you thinking? Um, gosh, I just had a question for you, and now I just forgot it. Well, Sorry. I mean, uh, on the XRP side, Damn I'm it. thinking we can accomplish a uh, hundred bill market cap or 120 bill market cap that put XRP at about a dollar ninety a yep. token. Yep. So not horrible in relevance to where it's at right now. It's got yeah. a large retail holder base. It There's tons of information. Does, yeah. There's no stop in that fact. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I was eating dinner and these people next to us were talking to each other about this new crypto stuff. And I heard XRP is going to take over the world. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. We've got to fight against well, that. Well, dude, somehow. I mean, this is just basic people that are just getting into uh mm. Oh, it's crypto. Eron's in the chat. What up, Eron? Eron. And we, Eron, we need to set up. I have a... Uh, a little radio connection. I'm trying to get uh, the longest distance radio network possible as a civilian put together. Okay. Um, like you want repeaters across the world for the basement? I'm, I'm trying to get something together. Dude, we can do that. You know, I'm trying. That. I have connections in Colorado. They're yeah. working in the background. Speaking of connections, veteran crypto just putting together some amazing things Dude, in the, the background. The new stuff that we're coming out with for the basement courtesy and partnership with veteran crypto is going to blow your face off i know dude it's so the, the information he's been sharing with me i'm yeah. like should i even have this well <laughs> allegedly no okay oh allegedly. dang it i mean well, that's what the gated access man it's gated we're trying access, to give people yeah. so the there's going to be i think what we're going to do and i don't want to reveal too much yeah. there's going to be another level of youtube membership that will get you to a deeper level of discord membership mm. and i do think drew we need to open up a public pew pew discord channel. Absolutely. It's time. Absolutely. It's we time. need to. Um, I'll do that today. Yeah. I mean, and there's a reason why, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously you see the, the bubble. I'm going to get to the bubble. That's real. The meat and uh, yeah. juiciness of today's show is I was sitting around my fire last night, burning trees in a burn barrel, staring at the flames for about six hours, thinking really that. into uh, the future of crypto had a long talk with Johnny, our top researcher here, and uh, you know, just some things really started to click in my mind that maybe I wasn't paying close enough attention to previously. So I'm going to get into that. Um, we're just going to highlight this: China's largest fund applies for a spot Bitcoin ETF in Hong Kong. We saw this coming. We saw the signals. Now that now they're moving for the application. Securities Times reported on Monday: financial giant like Harvest Fund and Southern Fund have submitted apps for their Hong Kong arms and are awaiting regulatory approval. 
for their own Bitcoin spot ETFs, which in my opinion, yes, will increase the TradFi FOMO that we're seeing uh, across the board right now. And, yeah. you know, it, at large, I think TradFi is, is far enough down into its sickness to realize that they not need to start looking for fixes. Um, you see this with the uh, FHLB ratings for banks across the board in the United States. Mm -hmm. They owe twice as much as they're worth. It's a very simple math. You know, I'm not a mathematician or quantum computer person, but you know, I'm looking at this stuff and this is an intrinsic system that needs uh, revamping. And they see that opportunity within Bitcoin. We're gonna see this increase as it becomes more normalized. Burn barrels allowed, Drew. I don't know. I mean, the police were there this morning and yeah, they saw it. It's Aaron. fine, Aaron. Okay. Aaron, you need to calm okay. down. Yeah, Aaron? retract that message. Aaron? You fool. <laughs> oh. uh, by the way, chat's going to lighten up about your repeater thing. People want to be on radio with Dude, us. Dude, we need to they get this going. They said Nashville and Texas. I see Look a couple at how many people. people we have spread across the country. We could probably make this shit happen. We could have an absolute pirate radio Dude. basement network. Oh, my God. Where we're dropping alpha on public channels. Oh pirate radio. Well, I am... I can get I'm my ready license for this. I can get my license. Man, who who the care? Why why do you need a license? Well, I mean, just to build out the uh, system, be able to test it. In, That's true. You know, I should in, probably apply when, when things are still together. I got to get the license. I do actually have a path uh, being New built Mexico. for me on that. New Mexico. That would Look be, at dude, this. This thing is coming we together. Got big hands, Dan down in. Uh, oh, he's got radio repeater abilities in Texas and Florida. Dude, this is sick. We've got it. We've got we it down. Make, the feds are watching. Now. Hey, <laughs> uh, here we go. Bro, they've been watching. Check yeah. this out. I mean, Three. if you think that they haven't been watching me my whole life, yeah. you're mistaken. Yeah. Um, they, you know, they love my memes. I have the best memes. Yeah, um, here's Silver actually peeking its head above $25. I think it's time for me to sell. It's time for you to sell your silver. I got, I bought $1,500 worth of silver when it was 20 bucks. Mm. And I think $28 is... That's a move. I know. Look at that. That's a little move. I know. It's not horrible. Yeah. It just doesn't move as fast or as hard as crypto. No. Um, silver futures going up today. Very interesting. Wall Street silver having its moment in the sun. Just figured I'd give them a highlight. Nashville gang up in there. Yep. Um, yeah, you need a license to transmit only. I know, veteran, but I want to be able to transmit. Uh, Nicole... You don't really need a license, though, vet. You know that. I mean, you know. When the when the boog is going down, bro. When the boog is going down, ain't no one gonna be transmitting with a license. Are you well, kidding me? There's you know, no license anymore. And maybe or maybe not, you know, our training exercises in Colorado utilized them. I don't know. Maybe you know, I don't know. Who knows? I lost all of that information in a boating accident. So yeah. um this is just a good grab from uh I think it's Palmetto State Armory coming PSA. out of these. Seven hundred ninety nine dollars for both of these. It's a five five six. Yeah, it's five five six, and then they're yeah for both of them. What Owen for both? From okay, where the fucked up Owen? That's the moral of this story. Um, did you buy an AR? No, not yet. Oh, no, he's well, he, he's building the Gucci Glock first. You know? I got man, what a waste. Uh, uh, here's a guy. <laughs> this uh, this guy is. Uh, you, have you followed this Nikolai Mew? Uh, I don't have story? the mental bandwidth Dude. for this right now. Okay, fine. Well, essentially, get into they, it. Yeah, the, do, this do prosecution uh, star witness was found to be lying about uh, the you know, basically a yeah. uh, middle aged man stabbed five people. He killed one of them because they had pushed him to the ground and started punching him. And he got you know why? up and stabbed them. Do you know why they were why they were pushing him around? Uh, mm -mm. Well, I mean, it was just uh, it seemed like young what young people just have no no respect for people anymore. That's what I like got. That. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, and this guy told the crowd that the old man that he was punching and filming, uh, you know, jump was taking pictures of little kids. When the actual fact of the matter was, the man's phone was lost in the river. And he was stuck in the river trying to find his phone. And this jackass was there egging on the entire crowd, acting like he was taking pictures of little girls. And his friend found out. He was stabbed to death. And that prize going to get off, get off with uh, self-defense. So F about and find out, bud. Now here, Johnny loves this. Scientists reverse aging in mice. This is dumb. Uh, do you, you know how many this, times this, this headline's been out? Do, is this a scam? This is absolutely a scam. Johnny needs to calm down. Wait, it this looks like is... a ferret. <laughs> Yeah. First of all, that's not a mouse. <laughs> this is AI. This is this is just the regular anti-aging bullshit that mm. has been peddled since basically the 1910s. Does it ever feel like they're trying to play God at a point, Nick? Like it, it doesn't doesn't in my mind just a little bit. In my and you may disagree with this, but I feel like God is vengeful, um, loving and vengeful at the same time. 
And God we is are, just. I wouldn't say just. Ve- yeah, there's that's just a good word. He's venge- He's he. God has vengeance when there is justice. Yeah. I, I exactly. Yes. Exactly. So. At a point, you know, with CERN or reverse aging or downloading your consciousness onto a, uh, you know, a data set and just transferring it over to another human hybrid type system. I've always felt that this was humans trying to play God and we will pay the price at large if they continue down this road. Agreed. That is Mm -hmm. my my general Hannah, you got some thoughts on that? You're you're just over there, mm -hmm, Mm mm-hmm, like it's Sunday morning. Are we, are we doing wrong or right by humans by trying to take control into our own hands? Is this right? Reverse aging is just defeats the whole point of existence. Mm. Oh, well, and the oh, thought in that like is like, life. if you always have tomorrow, what good is today? Yeah. Yeah. Death is the most beautiful part of life. Yeah. And wow. it makes, it makes our life worth something. And why is that? Why is that? Why is death the most beautiful part of life? What We're makes, going what, in. what increases that value? We're going in guys. It's the finite resource of time. It's the scarcity of time. The scarcity of time. It's right. everything. And yeah. that's why we find Bitcoin so lovely, right? Yeah. It's a scarcity of an asset. Yeah. Big, scarcity. Bitcoin is death. Um, so, yeah, there is that. Uh, Johnny, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I really think that your uh, anti-aging robot life yeah. uh, is not going to go. And, you know, when they talk about going to Mars, how about you fix male pattern baldness first before trying yeah, to look, design? If you know? AI can't fix traffic and baldness, then I think the whole thing's a scam. <laughs> right, dude. Right? If, like, I, if I can't tell ChatGPT, hey, look at my bank account. Tell me how much taxes I owe. If mm-hmm. it can't do that, it can go fuck itself because it's not useful. Right now, it can make YouTube thumbnails mm. and some questionable videos and ruin the childhood of of everyone that's what ai can do at the moment yeah. i tested its capabilities in can it right because there are a lot of people are saying oh musicians are done for too no, uh, the not. artists are done for and i created my own version of a song and then i told chat gpt i told gemini i told many different systems to try and accomplish the same thing that my human brain was able to do in 30 minutes None of the systems come out with no. anything close to a good remake parody song. They just can't do it. They don't have the creative intuitiveness that humans do. No. Um, so who is, always who is paying top dollar for AI generated artwork? No, I, I can't. No tell one. You who. It's because it's dollar. not worth anything. It's a commodity. It's like, infinite. You who can is, just who keep is, spitting them out. Who's waiting around the corner in lines to go see the next piece of AI generated music? Nothing. No one is. Nobody, but they're. But really talented graphic designers are using AI to get pieces of images that they need to create True. the art that As they tool, are going to yeah. sell. You're right. Mm-hmm. As a tool, it's incredible. It's a tool. And it's, it gives you, not to say that it's unbiased because somebody developed this, but mm. I do enjoy, like when I was in college, I didn't ask my professors anything. I would ask ChatGPT and yeah. I would get the real answer instead of my professor's opinion. Mm, mm. Interesting. You know, it has perks. I, uh, my, my wife, uh, actually went through the application process for AI prompting and things like that a while yep. back. And she actually has the inside info. They, they refused to hire her because she was asked a question. Is this hate speech? And it oh, was a, uh, it was a dude girl. It was a dude trying to dress like a woman. Yes. And he was threatening violence against Republicans. Yes. And actually making direct like threats, like I'm going to do this and this to you. And she's like, yeah, that's hate speech. And then that actually disqualified her. So Uh, yeah, she she should sue them. Well, I mean, you can't, she can, your, your wife probably has grounds to sue them. Really? Yeah. This far back, it's been like a year. Uh, It could be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's worth a call to a personal injury lawyer to get a consultation. I mean, it's just interesting how they're, you know, so. uh, You can't bar people on uh, hiring based on political affiliation. You see, Brazil's going after Elon. Uh, Yeah. yeah. That's not good. Well, find out. I mean, Brazil, they need to get smacked around. Yeah. Um, Just a little bit of information on the reg side, the global side. This is from Eleanor Tourette. Uh, Senator Warren focused on validator nodes not being subject to the same AML laws as banks. He asked Wally, God, I'm not going to say that. Wally Adiemo. Adiemo. Is that yeah. him? Okay. Yeah. If she sent him $1,000 in crypto, is it possible that Iran is the validator of that transaction? What an idiot. I mean, just uh, throwing the theoretical salad around to build She's out so the narrative. stupid. I know. I know. Adam Mayo said it is definitely possible. That's also dumb. Also dumb. Warren responded, so Iran, which is subject to all kinds of sanctions, are making are making the she ter- turns her theoretical into a hard-sided fact 
That's how these scam artists work. Yeah, is it possible? Yes. Well, then they are doing it. Right. Exactly. That's how they work. Um, let's see here. Validating transactions all because we don't have the tools to stop them. Adam Ayo says Holy yes. crap. She also asked mm. if there's a correlation between the growth of crypto market and the amount of money Iran is pocketing. Who is this IDMO <laughs> guy? Dude. Click on his... Yeah, let's who is this putz? Yeah, it's, uh, oh, of course. Look at who's got Chief it Chief of staff. Look at that. There yeah. it is. Okay. This tells your whole damn story. Oh, no. Story. The real story is who's next to Obama right there. Uh, who's who's this? that? You know who that is. No, I don't. Susan frickin' Rice. Tell me more. Susan Rice is probably one of the most corrupt politicians of all time. Really? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. okay. Susan Rice is an is essentially a communist plant, mm, a Manchurian candidate in our government. Okay. Uh, so wait. Oh, oh, he's deputy of the NSA. Great. Oh god. <laughs> Great. No, deputy of the NSA. Deputy Treasury Secretary, first chief of staff. Fam. So this guy's a lizard person. Dude, he Great. must be in on Joe Bowden though. What in the world is that bio? Yeah, this what is pretty is fan of Barack Obama. This what screams the hell? deep stake uh deep state a deep stake, man. I think this? I saw Deadwood AJC rugged you. What the f? That's who? not good. Who, that is who not got rugged? Cool. Um, uh, Deadwood from AJC. I'm gonna have to look into that. That's not All good. Right. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be uh, having to watch this guy a little bit closer. That guy doesn't know shit. Well, and he's but he's a talking point that Warren's using to try to build this narrative. He's out, a sock so. puppet. He's part of the the greater plan of control. We have this now. This is Kathy Wood. I think Bitcoin. This is an insurance policy against rogue regimes yep. or against just horrible fiscal and monetary policies. Okay, fair enough. And that really was why, in my opinion, Bitcoin was created. The uh, housing crisis spurred a lot of intelligent people to see the forest through the trees and know that the dollar across the world is going to zero. So there must be a reworking of financial systems and transfer of value at large, especially with the internet movement, the internet economy taking over. It's a big win for her. That's a very yep. valid statement. But now there's something that came to me last night. I was sitting there staring at the fire. Is that we are slated to have near $16 trillion worth of tokenized assets by 2030. We've seen the beginning of this with tokenized treasuries, right? Mm -hmm. Now, think about that. Tokenized treasuries haven't had a very good time. Lately, they are oh, increasing yeah? the yield to find buyers because people are less and less interested in tokenized treasuries because or just treasuries at large treasury bonds, because the yield is being outpaced by the inflation rate. The amount of money that the Fed is printing is taking the value of holding treasury bonds away at large. So they're having to convince more and more people through these auctions to purchase the treasuries. We have this just to highlight March 25th, 24, the Treasury's $66 billion auction of two-year notes comes in cheaper than expected. These are very quiet headlines that go unnoticed at large by economists and things of that nature. Immediately after the auction results came in, Treasury yields remained higher because, come on, Bill, we need someone to keep this Ponzi floating yep. on the day with the two-year rate up around 4.62%. Okay, so we've sorted that out. Now, just a quick glance at the amount of tokenized treasuries that we're looking at, currently sitting at around one trillion uh, total value. Uh, actually, no, one billion total value. So very, very small in relevance to how much they expect to come into this market over the next, say, six years, right? And an interesting thing to note about this is Stellar makes up a huge portion of this, Nick. Look at this. Stellar, 367 million Ethereum coming in at 687 million. Stellar is half. Of how is Ethereum's. how? That is insane. I, we I, they looked at this at, on Discover Crypto. We need to find out what the road Ooh. into Stellar through tokenized assets really is. Yeah, because you would think you would think mm -hmm. this should be done on XRP. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You would absolutely think that. But why are they using Stellar? Which, by the way, I've used Stellar. It's great. It's very fast. And uh, I use Stellar to get out of positions during bull oh, markets. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, you can just uh, swap into Stellar and then get off the exchange in no time. A few seconds yep. is all it takes. Um, but this is very interesting to note that Stellar makes up that big of a portion of it. But now, talk about this. Okay, so... We see tokenized treasuries are coming in. Yay. They're, treasure, they're tokenizing these treasury bonds that have a hard time being sell, sold on the auction markets or at the open market in general. And then I think back to the time where USDC 
depegged because of its exposure to a bank, okay? And if we think about the expansion as a whole of crypto into the intrinsically sick system of TradFi, mm. when TradFi goes down, we go down with it. That is the mm. ugly reality it of is. the situation. Like, And yes, it's going to pump the bags to the moon. In the meantime, up until it's... All of this shit going on right now feels exactly like the Roaring Twenties. It feels mm. like it's 1926. You know who agrees with you? Who? Lynn Alden. Really? Yes. Okay. Lynn Alden has been saying that for about a year and a half now, but mm. she absolutely, if, if for different reasons, mm. but she agrees with you. Our economy mirrors that more of the 1920s yeah. than people were saying, uh, excuse me, um, uh, people were saying the 1980s, right? You know, yeah, the well, big, you had the 70s and 80s yeah. stagflation. Yeah, crazy so they're saying inflation. this is another 2008. This is another 1980s. She says, no, this is more like right before the 1920s. With like I free banking completely and stuff. agree with that. Yeah. I think it's uh, uh, much larger than the 2008 crash. What is building in the background? Hannah, you just broke your neck live on stream. That was very loud. Um, are you okay? Oh, my God. Oh, gross. What Did the y'all hear frick? that? <laughs> that is that? not oh. good. That's me getting ready for the next recession. Oh, my God. So Ow. at large, yeah, we created Bitcoin to escape this system, but we see tokenized uh, treasury bonds. We see tokenized assets moving to these crypto projects. These crypto projects are going to fall along with the house of cards. Now, Bitcoin, I think, is outside of that conversation. For now. And for now. Yeah. Bitcoin is outside of that, that conversation, which is good. And we see, you know, BlackRock and all these massive ETFs, Hong Kong, trying to hedge themselves into Bitcoin because they see it too. They wouldn't be moving mm -hmm. billions of dollars into these systems if they didn't see that there was an intrinsic problem with the setup that they currently have. Yeah. If the setup that they currently have worked and it was fine then they would just remain, a, you know, keeping winning. You know, they don't want to buy $60,000 Bitcoin from people that mined it at a dollar. You know what I mean? <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's not what TradFi wants. No. But they're being forced. Their hands are being forced into crypto and Bitcoin. And when this bubble does pop, these layer ones that are tokenizing these assets, these RWAs, they're going to fall with it too. And we are essentially concreting over the escape hatch that we built this system out for to begin with so it is a it's a double-edged sword for god's sakes the moral of this lesson is set your monetary goals right now on what you want out of this crypto bull market and buy that shit set your goals and stick to it because what is coming in my opinion in 2030 is very very bad we see yeah, this agreed. conflict you know it's like a trade war building out right now yep that what do you think follows a trade war it's a kinetic war you know it's yeah yeah and that i you hit the nail on the head 2030 is what all of this is coming to the mm -hmm. culmination of which and I'm, I'm telling you right now here on the stream and we're gonna i, I want to do more research on this i do have to get up and do my video here soon yeah. but you need to between now and 2030 get another passport. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not talking about a copy of your current passport. You need a passport for another country. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need to be making plans to be ideally somewhere in um, Central America or Southeast Asia, mm. because those are probably not going to be the hottest hotbeds. Um, I would imagine Europe, North America, um, anywhere near China, is probably not going to be a great time. Yeah. So be making plans accordingly. 2030 is when these things are all going to be coming to a head in a big, big way. And that's why a lot of the materials, and a lot of the way that we're taking this channel is we're not just teaching you how to make the crypto gains. We're teaching you what to do with it after you get it, Yes. how to store it, and then what to do with it. Right. So you have to protect your you wealth. You have to protect yourself. You pr protect your wealth, protect yourself, be mm -hmm. self-sovereign, because I don't think, and you may disagree with me, and veteran may disagree with me too, mm -hmm. I don't think there's going to be one giant massive Boogaloo or Carrington mm -hmm. event where we instantly go back to the 1920s mm -hmm. as far as technologies. I think it's going to be um like tremors a, and aftershocks like a death by a thousand cuts yeah so i think it's going to be like like how we had in 2020 there was the mostly peaceful summer of 2020 i huge. think that will be end up being a mostly peaceful quarter 
of 2026, Mm -hmm. and then a mostly peaceful year of 2029, Mm -hmm. and then there will be an extended mostly peaceful five years from 30 to 35. And you need to be prepared for this kind of like death by a thousand cuts. It's not going to happen all at once. We're going to go back to the to the to the stone ages for the next hundred years no it's going to be it's going to be like we're going through chemo yeah. okay there's yeah. going to be great days and there's going to be really bad days yeah. and that's why i bought the mp5 yeah. I, I love it <laughs> i love it and i'm going to be uh installing a mechanical pump on my well as well yes you know like water food all this stuff yep so you know as the channel grows we just hit fifty one thousand subs share this out you guys <laughs> like we're probably going to hit a mil subs Within this bull market, we need to get this information out to as many people as humanly possible for what's coming. I know that there's a lot of people that don't agree with me. It's up and only to the right. Yeah, sure. Right now for the next few years, we're going to be doing great. But there is a larger cataclysm at play here that we need to be cognizant of. This whole system and this escape to Bitcoin wouldn't be working so well if the system wasn't sick to begin with. So. Just saying that out loud so everyone can uh, take that to the bank. Chemistry Bro, good to see you again, man. Yes. Hey, see you I wanted to shout out Chemistry Bro, too, because he just said what you just said. He said it's scaremongering. And I'm I'm the person that, like, I think it's great that you're saying what you're saying. And, like, everybody needs to hear it just to prepare. Like, even if they yeah. – just in case. Just so, in case. But I'm the most, like, paranoid. Like, I was paranoid, scared, fear-mongering, whatever. And I talked to my grandma about mm. it at one point. And she said when she was 14 or 15, she begged my great grandpa to build her a bunker. Yeah. Wow. And I'm like, oh, and we're fine. Like she's 70, 80 now and I'm 22 and I want a bunker. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, maybe it is just the circle of life. Like everybody, we're fine. Peace, love, it's just nice to have positivity, but yeah. also like be aware of yeah. things and prepare. Yeah. Exactly. Be prepared. And chemistry, bro, I just want to real quick. I know you're in the UK. Mm. I'm going off of what... Um, Leo. NATO just told you guys in Leo. January. Okay. You had a bunch of delegates and representatives from NATO in, I think it was in Germany at the at um, the EU. They basically told all Europeans at the end of January, say, hey, you need to have a radio, yeah. like a ham radio. You need to have two or three weeks worth of food and water because stuff is going to get crazy with Russia here in a little bit. So I'm not, we're not making this up out of whole cloth. These are the high levels of the government people making public statements saying the time of peace is over, prepare for some scuffles. Mm -hmm. So do with that as you will. I mean, we love having you um, as, as part of our community and, you know, it would be stupid for us to say that it's all going to be, you know, happiness and sunshine and rainbows, like the fucking Toys R Us commercial. Right. We're just going to fly into the sunset. It's not Teletubbies, folks. This is real life. Yeah. These problems are real. And the situation we're talking about is a much larger one. And it's probably going to push our deficit to over $50 trillion within 2030. So you're going to see even more need for the system to be be redone. Um, You know, and at large, you know, yes, I'm bullish on RWA project, talk about Ondo, um, all these other things. Very bullish on them. And I'm going to be making money off of them, but yep. I'm going to be buying bunkers and tanks with the profits. You're so. all about, see, I just, you got to buy salt, guys. So, well, I don't, have salt. Don't already. listen to Drew. I have hundreds of pounds of salt already. You can't, you can't run out, you can't eat a tank. Okay. Well, you I can't can, eat salt. I can go get salt <laughs> with a tank, though. I can go get it. Um, just a shout out to this meme uh, from Sal, the algorithm, the crypto guy we deserved, uh, and the crypto guy they sent right yeah. here. What so. a G. Yep. Now, let's get what into all these pretty cool altcoins, too. guys. We got a lot of altcoin opportunity right, right now. I gotta run. All right, I'll see you, man. Bye. Um, so the total stable coin supply increased by eight billion dollars in the past 30 days. A great sign for the market. I would absolutely agree with this. These types of upticks are what we see before we see nasty, nasty pumps on altcoins. So that's just a highlight for the rest of these stories. Um, this is from Tom Crown. Solana congestion doesn't allow this user to sell $54,000 worth of tokens. Uh, Been trading meme coins for the last month and finally came across his first winner. I made a good profit and I'm ready to exit, but my transaction keeps failing even at a 30% slippage rate. What am I doing wrong? I'm not usually the one to complain, but this is getting ridiculous. The worst part is I took a loan to invest this money. So I really need Solana to get this fixed soon. This is terrible to see. Uh, Taking a loan out, 
hammering into meme coins, probably not the healthiest thing you could do in the world, but then you win and you can't even escape. It's like the Crypto Cali Hotel California. And we've seen migrations, you know, there was a snippet of time where people tried to hammer into Avalanche meme tokens. Avalanche went, uh, went down overnight. We see the large mig migratory patterns of crypto investors trying to make it onto different chains and they keep going down. Solana consistently having transaction problems at this point because that massive amount of interest is there for it. The people have come, they just can't, the doors aren't wide enough right now. That's what's going on. So, you know, it does, you know, on this frame of thought, it leaves some room for growth for a, one project that came to my mind in particular that might be a very good performer as far as being an alternative layer one would be SUI. Uh, SUI, they were derived out of the uh, team that developed uh, Facebook's uh, payment system. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, until it was shut down by Congress, they were in, in, involved with DM and Libra. And they were uh, primed to handle, uh, doesn't Facebook have like a billion users or something like that? A lot. Um, a lot of users. So pretty uh, qualified development team there. So seeing this migratory pattern just basically go from one chain to the next, breaking it, some, there is a layer one that is sitting right under our noses that is going to make a gigantic splash. I might as well check in on Swee's price right now see where it is sitting um been you know kind of looking at this thing for a while is it on the test net hasn't really moved too much since original launch looks like it started at a dollar 30 dipped down to 39 cents it's sitting at a dollar 61 right now circulating supply only 12 percent out though so you got to keep cognizant of that yes we're in a bullish time frame so it may matter much less given the particular time frame we're in with the bull market coming but uh, the market cap, didn't, wow, it's already at $2 billion. But you know what? If this thing accomplishes what Ethereum did last time, Ethereum did 580, uh, 565 billion. So 2 billion, you know, to that level, this is obviously hyper bullish, uh, you know, thought for SWE, but I'm looking at trying to find systems that can handle this type of throughput. And another idea of, you know, a capable system in my mind is icp this is why i'm loving icp um got a decent bag of icp uh, not too much but uh this is the overall graph this is what scares everyone icp is trying to build out an entirely decentralized internet system they're trying to shoot for the moon and be the next big kahuna the transactions per second are all there the scalability is all there for icp they are building the house it is up to the people to come. And at large, I do think that time will, will arise. It just takes time for people to realize that, hey, oh my God, I still can't get out of Solana. What the hell is the next big chain to take hold? So I'm watching those things. This is important to uh, note just on the security side, guys. If you're in telegrams, potential telegram exploit was noted need to disable auto load features. And hackers can send malware that is automatically downloaded if you do not disable this feature, this affects both mobile and PC users. And we're going to go check out the instructions first on the phone. You open Telegram, you select the settings in the bottom right, select data and storage, select using cellular, and then uncheck the auto download media portion. Then you go to back and then select Wi Fi and then uncheck the auto downloaded media. I did do this to my phone this uh, morning seeing this. Oh my God, I do not want, I mean, Telegram is insane. There Telegram is scary. It's sketchy. So like shout out this guy. Thank you for this. I just yeah. retweeted it. If anybody is looking for it. This is important stuff. Yeah. And like you, you think about it, like it seems innocent enough, but if your phone's in your pocket and it's auto opening the Telegram app, because like I'm always doing stuff on the property and I pull out my phone and some random app is open because something it got touched in my pants. The phone turned on because a, a tree yeah. hit my leg or something. The phone's on. It's in some random app. If that clicks into one of their scam links, you're done. Yeah. Like that's all. And, it takes. and what this is saying is that you don't even have to click it. They right. just send it, and it's like already opened on your phone or downloaded on your phone. So yeah, yeah turn this off. Yeah, this is a I big would. deal, you guys. And there it just shows using cellular disabled. Um, you could find that all in the data storage portion of your phone. Disabling on PC. You open on Telegram, select the hamburger in the upper left corner, select settings, advanced, locate the automated, automatic media download section, selected private chats, 
uncheck photos and files, select save, it's quite a bit here, um, and then repeat the process in groups and in channels. So you have to go into the groups and the channels themselves. That's a lot of work. Yeah. That's pretty damn sketchy. Um, I definitely, you know, try to keep up with people in Telegram, but holy hell, that place is a cesspool. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, it's yeah, a lot. so what's just the, be cognizant. What's the deal with the Solana upgrade, you know? Um, I know that there's a, I think we might actually have the story on it. Um, I haven't dug into it mo so much this morning, though. No, I, I know that there's a talks of an upgrade coming to Solana. It's just a bunch of whispers of sweet nothings to me, mm -hmm. honestly. Like, the Ethereum upgrade didn't help gas transactions. That's true. Um, you know, there's that. This. So th what's up with Solana? Like, why is it broken it, right now? It's just a, there's so many people trying to utilize it, but then they have bots. Like, there is a large amount of those transactions are being botted. So, you know, you so have to take that. being attacked by the Ethereum developers. I mean, but that's, <laughs> that's what, what uh, Nick said yesterday. Yeah, that's being floated, that Ethereum is utilizing large sums of money to attack Solana and make it look bad. I'm not counting that out as a potential. I mean, mm. it's a competitor to Ethereum. You know what I mean? Maybe so. it's SBF and all the guards at the prison. Oh, my God. G-Lock. <laughs> you know? um, yeah. But, you know, in, in the Solana debacle, I'm still having luck getting on, getting on and off of coins. Um, D-Bridge. I'm bringing this up. D-Bridge points are here. And uh, this is just a thread into everything you need to know. Points are being rolled out on D-Bridge and they'll play a crucial role in handing power over to active and loyal community. Design the program to recognize earliest community members while welcoming anyone who's just joining the fam. You can now view points you've already accumulated and earn new points for your activity across D-Bridge ecosystem. How are D-Bridge points acquired? Making cross-chain transfers. Earn points for making cross-chain transfers across D-Bridge's ecosystem, including D-Bridge app, or any partner application, 100 points for every $1 paid in fees to the protocol. Making referrals, you can earn 25% on the points generated from your referral. If your referral earns 100 points, you'll get 25. So kind of cool stuff. I like seeing it. Um, I definitely like just how Dbridge operates just in and of itself. Um, so I'm having luck with that. I also haven't had too much trouble with Jupiter. So there are ways and doors in and out of these things, but for the average crypto user, they're not doing this chaotic stuff. Uh, so I'm just trying to show some 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 back doors that you can get out of positions with and uh, actually experience your gains, right? Um, I know a lot of people are sitting on gains they're trying to sell right now. So we have this. Now, this is from Dagnum PI calling out Watts Pay token, WTK. This is a sleeper to especially American investors because Within the U.S. jurisdiction, you don't technically have access to this project, but WTK continues to make impressive strides, 10x from the all-time high. Previously, I may as well go on the old uh, coin market cap, see where it is, WTK. Now, if you don't know what the background is, why I've been paying attention to this thing for some time, you need to go check out our uh, YouTube video that I made goes into pretty deep detail about the actual design and plumbing network that the uh, BRICS coalition nations are putting together uh, for their CBDC and crypto intercommunications network. Um, so let's see here, blockchain basement. I'll pull this one up just so you guys can see. I think it's the one with Putin and uh, Vitalik on it. Let's see here. Yeah, this this guy. Chainlink controls the future of crypto, and here's why. There is a lot more than just what part Chainlink plays in the future of finance that is in this video, so do not miss that video. It'll explain a lot of the background behind the people that are in you know, the forefront of WADSPAY WTK token, and I am going to be paying attention to this thing's price action. You know, If you're looking for the next big monetary instrument to be used by nation states and you're holding XRP, or you're looking for something that's got tangible use case, future outlook, WADSPAY is definitely on that list in my opinion. And uh, it's pretty cool to see uh, Dagnum paying attention to it as well because I've been watching this thing. So just a little bit of confluence. Feels good, man. Um, this Zin token, or mm -hmm. this is not Zin token, but Zin has been thrust into the cultural zeitgeist of our time. If you had any doubt, Wall Street Journal dropped an eight-minute video this morning telling you why. I have no clue what the implications are for this and Zincoin ERC-20, but what I can't help but think is that the, this is the most entertaining outcome that is most likely. 
May as well. We got to go to Dex Tools. We got to see Zin Token now. So we're going into Dex Tools. Uh, looked like a pretty damn strong meme coin type project. Um, I, instead of Zins, for the moment, I'm liking these Ons because they're, uh, they don't give me as bad a heartburn. But um, Zin Coin holding up pretty dang well. Look at this meme coin chart. That is juicy. That is an actual chart. That looks like something uh, pretty damn solid. I wish it wasn't on Ethereum, but I know I still want I it. I well, still want listen, it. Like I know it's painful. Like you know, if we're in retail, we are retail. You know, I'm within. I'm not holding a million dollars worth of tokens. You know what I mean? Sure, I'm a middle class person that could like I could definitely buy some things with my crypto. But Zincoin on ERC, you know. Gorilla on ERC, all these other tokens on ERC, all the, you saw how many uh, tokenized assets are on ERC. These massive institutions have no problem paying that gas fee for, the, for this network security of Ethereum. Mm -hmm. I, it's painful for retail to hear. I'm sorry, Hannah. They love it. Break it. They like it that way. They like it that way. You know, it's uh, have nots and haves. But uh, Zincoin looking pretty juicy there. So um, I do like these for the time being occasionally you know i'll have a zin if it's needed I probably need to get a position in zin token more primarily than buying a pack of zins um looking like this thing is taken over and i think that uh there is conversation about philip morris rolling out a massive product to the united states pretty soon that might be if you're into traditional markets wall street stuff uh, check that out this is the uh i think it's the ceo or uh, just someone involved with avax foundation talking about uh, AVAX with Fox Business. Let's have a listen. Let's have a go. The end of the year, that's very aggressive. I think right, what he's time. seeing and what I'm seeing that gets him very excited is actually the usage of all the cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin usage is really store value, but although like Avalanche and Ethereum, there's a lot of building on top of those blockchains. Avalabs helps companies build on top of Avalanche. And we're, we, we're talking and working with places like BlackRock, PayPal, um, a lot of traditional industry participants are deploying, even JP Morgan, for whatever Jamie Dimon says about the crypto asset class, the usage of the blockchain is actually happening. So from that perspective, I am super bullish as well for the whole space. Mm. Mm. JP, JP Morgan. Morgan in talks. What do you know? Jamie Dimon capitulating in the background into crypto. Of course, chemistry bro, bro. Oh my, his dad was the CTO of Wads Pay when they started out. That is insane, Chemistry Bill. That is insane. Um, <laughs> you got to let me know more about that. And uh, Bob, let's see if that is fake. Uh, that'd be pretty interesting. That thing has gone all over the internet about AVAX's interview on Fox Business. It, there are so many questions on what is real and what is not real, Hannah. You know what I mean? Nothing is like real. Like the, the eclipse yesterday, you have all the Nibiru confirmations everybody right? was like taking pictures of the the outline of the moon behind yeah. the sun they're like look it's naboo yeah like it's and my then, ancestor and then you have like the little ufos like they i i i just can't trust any of that stuff i it's don't know i did hard. have i posted like on the way to work randomly i had a picture pop up and that was the memory from it was a memory that popped up on my phone from the day that i learned about the anunnaki mm, at the hoover dam really? that was on the solar i posted it on snapchat and that was the solar eclipse day and then you, people are posting about Nibiru. And like, you know what the biggest search uh, spike on Google was right after the eclipse? What? Why are my eyes hurting? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb is I funny. stared straight into the sun so for a few seconds. Okay. Big deal. My eyes are Love fine. It. Well, not. I mean, I'm doing great. But my ears are really good. I don't. I shouldn't be able to hear as well as I can. Um, lots of years of shooting, playing heavy metal. And somehow the uh, little hairs in there are still pretty good. So it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Now, here are thoughts on Chainlink from Satoshi Flipper. So much confluence in one spot for Link daily. The entry point is as good as it gets. Top of the channel, currently sitting at $25. Take a quick glance at where we're at in the Chainlink life cycle here. Definitely still a bag holder of Link, um, but I, uh, I'm always looking to stack my bags. And right now he's talking about this uh, previous initial pump up to 17 bucks. Holding the bottom spot right there, putting a little health on the shelf. And yeah, uh, if you're looking to, well, if I was looking to be adding more of Chainlink, now would be the time to do so. This is the type of entry points. You know, another good entry point I'm seeing is Injective. 
injective. I think it's going to be a big mover and a shaker <laughs> in this bull market. And uh, this thing has shaved off and has had a nice haircut. Sitting right here, it's $33.28 right now. Yeah, it could definitely uh, go down and try out this $31.5 range or potentially even down to the 30 spot right there. That's the initial stumble before the excited time and the, like the short term, just midterm blow off top. Injective, I am going to be buying this dip because this one I think is uh, just heinously undervalued right now. Same with chain link. So I got to bring it up when these things have good haircuts because I'm looking for the health on the shelf, the right time to get in. Hate when I see the community buy gigantic green wicks. So be cognizant of that. I'm seeing some good entry points right now. We do have some hopium for XRP holders. Cysteine Research Forest. Forest. He is a G. This guy. He I, grew up with my boyfriend. He grew up with your boyfriend? Yeah. Really? And then I found him on ATB. And I was like, what? whoa, <laughs> how'd y'all get here? What a small world. But so bullish on Forest. He's so smart. Yeah. he's And he's very level-headed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, he's calling out a uh, potential XRP price pop. Uh, probably not far away for XRP. XRP to BTC ratio looks primed for a mean reversion in the next coming weeks. I would absolutely love to see that happen because, yes, I do still hold XRP. And really, my history with XRP is I bought it at 17 cents. So, you know, about six months ago, maybe seven months ago, I took about 90% off the table. And I put it into things like Render, um, things like uh, Near Protocol, uh, a few, like my wife got Near. Um, I, I moved into ICP, just a, a few different plays, and those performed extremely well comparatively to XRP. But, you know, my original entry point is at 17 cents. So taking profits at 65, whatever cents it was, it was not that bad of a deal. Now, if we see an XRP breakout, and, uh, you know, in time, it does have a chance coming up with this lawsuit being finalized April, I think it's April 20th or April 16th for XRP. Um, that, that lawsuit is going to be getting figured out and finalized right around here. There's a lot of smackdown being laid down by Coinbase and other avenues further proving the point to the SEC that secondary market cryptos are not securities. So that will re once again reignite the retail FOMO, in my opinion, in a momentary time step at the least. And, uh, you know, really, if I see this thing get anywhere into the, uh, you know, the dollar ninety range hitting that level in the bull market, I'm not going to be mad. That's 17 mm -mm. cents to a dollar ninety. You know what I mean? Sure, it take two cycles to get there. But you know what? I don't hate it. It's doing much better than the inflation rate of the dollar. Um, yeah, you see, if you compare, what would my life be like if I leave this, you know, 10,000 bucks in my bank compared to what if I just went all in on XRP at 17 cents? Sure, I could be aggravated with the last year of price action doing this. Um, you know, and for all crypto intensive purposes, it looks dead, but it's not, especially if you compare it to the waning buying power of the United States dollar. So, there is that, a little bit of hope for XRP people, XR people, um, you know, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I think that April 20th will have some pretty good uh, price movements. And uh, uh, $0 Giro, thinking Chainlink to 123. Yeah, I mean, honestly, man, like I'm not counting Chainlink to not hit uh, 200 bucks. Like, I feel like there's a lot to come for our Chainlink. And Chainlink kind of stole the thunder from XRP with that partnership with Swift. You know what I mean? That was a big, like, we're going to get this. We're going to redo the Swift plumbing. Now it's chain link, you know, um, and that's outwardly admitted and everything like that. So, but I still do think that retail and, you know, some financial institutions, they show interest in Ripple. Um, so, you know, XRP will probably have a decent price action. Um, you know, people are always looking for like the safest option. You know what I mean? I didn't really come into crypto for safeness, but if that is something you're looking for, you know, it's a long-standing uh, crypto. Slack DMs, let's see here. Got to check them out. Oh, my God. Owen, good reminder. Okay, first thing, if you support this channel and you have terrible underwear, click the link in our description. Use code BASEMENT for a fantastic pair of underwear that will not fold over and create a line if you can still carry every day all the time. If you're looking for these liquidation levels, like I showed earlier in the show, a high block capital, 
Great partner of the channel. You can utilize High Block Capital with our uh, referral link. Show my damn screen, Owen. Um, this is a great spot to find uh, liquidation levels and just a slew of other, you know, on-chain data. But then we have an important announcement. Um, we have an announcement that Hudson has been uh, reminding me of. So essentially, we are looking for graphic designers. We're looking for editors. We are hiring. Uh, in a pretty big way. So I'll pull up this list. Don't pull up this, uh, what I'm doing here, because this gives them all the, the juicy stuff, all the details. But I know that we need people that have talent, and I know that the basement crew is talented like no other. So uh, join our content creation contractor list. We are putting this together. This is the uh, questionnaire you can fill out. Um, here's a picture of Hudson being all, you know, cray-cray. I mean, just the absolute... Worst and best of men. Um, but here, pretty simple questionnaire to fill out. If you have an interest in becoming a contractor or finding your end to working with our company, you can be uh, looking into platform SEO research, content video shooting, audio capturing, mo file management, a slew of different options there. So if you have an interest, we're going to put the link in the description. And uh, can you uh, drop the link of that in the chat for me, Owen? um we'll, we'll drop the link in the chat for you guys uh this is all happening that the world is waking up to crypto we're expanding like crazy things are going nuts i appreciate the you guys in the chat you're the bedrock of this channel i mean most of you have been in here since the beginning we were formed in the flames we were formed when bitcoin was at 17k we had buffoons priming and preparing people to try to wait for ten thousand dollar bitcoin which never came and the basement was a place where we went to to disagree with that with hard statistics because we had to find a place to do it at and now that we've seen what the market's done a lot of validation in our ideas of where the markets are moving as a whole have been extremely validated i'm very very lucky to have the group of people that i have as the bedrock of this channel we got c90 ftw uh, chemistry bro, Jess Jin, Big Hands Dan, Bob from Accounting, Ant B. Cape, uh, F. Ukraine, hell yeah, bro, Connor, Dana, <laughs> uh, Veteran Crypto, Absolute G, The Deadwood, Michael Moore. You guys are the absolute bread and butter. And down in the rumble, we got Uncle Tinfoil, Word Sister, Two Bros Mining, all the Gs, the real spicy ones down there in rumble. You guys are what makes us so powerful. You're the reason why we are growing at the rate we are. And I just, my, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for making that happen. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, Hudson Send. Uh, what, what do we got here, Owen? Uh, no, I'm not logged from into. BJ. Oh, mm -hmm. from BJ? No, I'm logged in as myself, bud. Yo, I'm I, I forgot. I, I wanted to talk about no? Frentech. We can talk about it tomorrow, but Frentech's pack, y'all. Frentech Maybe potentially, back? maybe potentially. I don't what? know. What? I don't know. I just saw it, but I want to look at it and well, talk about it tomorrow. Well, we're going to have to look at that. A Frentech's coming back? There's going to be a Frentech airdrop. And I have, I think I have like 400 points. Really? So we'll see how much that, will, I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm excited though, because y'all faded me. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, <laughs> I yeah, did not you fade should be. I mean, and really like, you know, I just get so tired of all these new uh, social media platforms. I'm, yeah, I, I'm and Farcaster. I've already said it's part of Fediverse, which yes. Meta, Facebook, and yes. Instagram is part of Fediverse too. So Farcaster is something. I just haven't looked at it yet. Mm. but i'm getting on that well and you know later on in the week probably lot. tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna dig into that tomorrow hannah and then i'm gonna gut uh sweet network we're gonna go into sweet network to find out what deep in projects we could get involved with on sui we're gonna dig into what meme coin projects we can get into on sui because i do think that there's some opportunity there some unseen opportunity but it's a beautiful day. We got an SP5 in the studio. Uh, feels good, man. Feels good to finally be there. But appreciate every single one of you. We'll be back tomorrow with more Alpha. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. And uh, be good. Take care.